In this lesson, uh, we're going to build a cribbage board. Uh, this is going to um, use many of the features that we've uh, practiced in the last lessons. So let's begin by uh, setting the plywood size. Now the plywood could be any size greater than uh, 4 by uh, roughly 19 because that's the size of the cribbage board. But for uh, our purposes, we'll make it uh, 5 inches wide and 21 inches long. <clears throat> so there's our board. Note we can go over here and click on the uh, home button down here and uh, bring the uh, graph paper uh, into full view. <clears throat> We're going to start by creating holes. Now to create holes uh, in, with this many holes, and we have to do 244 holes in a board for a cribbage. And uh, to do this, uh, the first step is to make a, an outline <clears throat> of the, uh, where the holes are going to be. And we do that with a rectangle. So if we take the rectangle and we make the width of a half an inch, 0.5, and the height, some number that ends in a 0.5 or 0.25 or a whole number, and I'll use uh, 20. That'll work fine. <clears throat> Notice that uh, we're going to start at 1 and 1. So the lower left corner is at 1 in the x direction, 1 in the y direction. All right, now I'm going to change this to a, uh, an outline. I'm going to cut on, on the shape path. The depth really doesn't matter here. Um, all right, now we're going to go over while it's highlighted. No, we're going to go over to the apps. And you'll find an app that says... Uh, Holes on the path. So we're going to click on that. And holes on the path, we're going to uh, set, do some settings here. We're going to make the holes uh, an eighth of an inch, 0.125. Uh, we're going to make them about uh, three tenths of an inch deep, 0.3. We're going to uh, repeat type is going to be spacing. And the spacing is a quarter inch apart. The number of holes doesn't matter because we're using spacing and it's going to fill it in. And since we're using some multiple of a quarter of an inch, uh, and I use 20 inches, um, we don't have to worry about the number of holes that come out even, and they will be a quarter of an inch apart. If you look over on the right, you can see what we're going to import. And that's all these uh, holes here. Holes, they're just little circles at this point. Anyway, we're going to import it. <clears throat> now it's a little hard to see because it's buried behind our outline there. But if I get rid of the outline, I just hit the delete key. And the outline goes away and uh, now the holes are left now in cribbage and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this uh, a little bigger All right, I'm gonna start at the bottom so I'll bring it pretty big at the bottom and uh, this this hole right here we're not going to use so I'm going to delete this one and then uh, these two we're not going to use no detail. And these two down at the bottom, I guess, are the starting holes. Now, they're, um, from there uh, up, we have um, a series of five separated by a space. So we'll go up five, three, four, five. We'll go to number six, and we'll get rid of that. That's gone. All right, and this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way up. This will take a few minutes, so be patient. All right, move it down a bit. Once I get uh, a pattern of six, one, two, three, four, I need two more. point we put a break in there um, and uh, to, uh, and later on we'll actually put something in there but for now we're just going to create a break well, you can see the break is uh, quite a bit bigger than our normal space and uh, this is the kind of the halfway point so then we'll start again with our groups of five
לא, כתוב ממני לאתר. And then the last one is uh, right here, two, three, four, five. So we can get rid of all the rest of them up above that. So we get rid of them all. All right, I'll go back and I'll put everything inside the window and we'll take a look at what we have. All right, if you notice, we have uh, uh, two groups of holes. Uh, the lower one has a, the two starting holes and then there are uh, six groups of 10, that's uh, they're five, five high and two wide, six groups of 10, and then the same on the top. And that's our pattern. So, uh, but there are two paths, so we just take this whole thing and we'll copy it. And we can do edit copy up top. And I'll do edit paste. Okay. And I'm going to move these over. You can see they, they move them over a little bit, but not as far as we want. So uh, I'm going to correct Y here. It moved a little bit. And X is going to be uh, 3, I think 3. Hang on. Uh, 3.5. That's not 3, 3.5. We'll see how that works. We can always move it later if it's not quite right. All right, now we're going to outline this whole thing. And that's this actually is going to be the cutout for the uh, entire uh, board. So we know we know the size of that. We know X is four, four wide. And we know Y is 19 uh, and an eighth high. So 19 and an eighth. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I did position. Wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> Position is uh, smaller. It's over and over on the side there. It's 0.5 and 0.5 for now. And the width would be 4. And the height is 19 and an eighth, 0.125. Right. So you can see that uh, outlines our area. So we'll do a cut. And in this case, we're not going to cut on the line. I'm going to cut outside the path because we want to make sure we capture the entire size of the board. All right, so we'll cut outside and we're also going to cut right through the board. So I'm going to move this all the way down to um, half an inch. All right. Now down the bottom, once we go, once we move it down to uh, take the whole thing apart, you notice the tab menu comes up at the bottom. This is kind of important. Uh, the, uh, by default, it uh, comes up with four tabs, and I don't think that's enough. I, I tried to cut this out one time, and it just didn't come out right. So I'm going to add a few more tabs. So we have six tabs now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and uh, that should be a little better. Let me, let me, let me take a look at how um, seven or eight. Eight is uh, a little too many. Let's see. But we can move these tabs. I don't like them in the corners. All right, hang on. A tab somewhere here. There he is. So I'm going to take these ones that are down here in the corners. I'm going to move it up. I grabbed the whole thing that time. If I hit Control Z, it'll take me back. Hard to pick out that one spot down there. Yeah, oh, did it again. All right, I'll have to bring it up a little bit so we can see it a little better. All right, now we got it so we can see it. Maybe I can grab that tab this time. Yeah, I got it this time. So I guess the uh, best thing to do is to uh, 
magnify it a little bit before you set your tabs and you can see we have these tabs now at one, one at either end and we have three on either side and that's more than enough uh, to make sure this thing doesn't come apart on us while we're uh, cutting all right so i'll go back to my home button and now we have a complete board right there so uh what i'm going to do is save this i'm going to create a new workspace at the bottom we talked about workspaces before and basically our first workspace now is our board with all the holes in it now our second workspace is empty at this point it's just like having a new screen hang on so you can see there's nothing in it all right so uh what we're going to do here is uh create um a pattern on the outside of it to make uh, this area here between the edge of the board which is uh, the dark line and the hole so we're going to make a quarter inch wide border around there just to give it uh, a nice look and uh, we're going to put a pattern inside that border yeah. so we go back to our open one and we're going to create a rectangle and we did this before in an earlier uh, lesson create a rectangle and it's a kind of a skinny uh, high one so the width is going to be a quarter of an inch we said and the height we know is 19 and 1 8 and the start point is going to be 0.5 and 0.5 we decided 0.5 tab 0.5 okay I'm using a tab key between my entries and that uh, um, facilitates doing this a little faster uh, and I'll go over my cut and I'm going to cut uh, and in this way I'm going to cut on the shape all right so now I have a shape uh, that's a rectangle right now but we have to make a picture frame out of this so how do we do that uh, let's enhance it a little bit we'll magnify it a little bit I bring it up so I can get the top corner here keep magnifying and I'm going to uh, click on it again and if you look down here there's a thing called edit points if I click on this point up in the corner here very carefully okay you'll notice it gives me uh, numbers down the bottom here for X and Y where it's located and what I want to do is bring it down uh, a quarter of an inch so if I right now it's 19 and 5 a's so 625 so I need to bring it down uh, to 375 that's 3 eighths of an inch okay and when I do that I've created a 45 degree angle at the top now we we'll do the same thing at the bottom I'll we'll click that bottom corner this guy right here that's our second point if I can get there he is I get him nope didn't get him oh I have to add points again my fault all right oh uh, you'll notice why this time is point Five, but we need to bring it up a quarter inch in this case so we'll make this point seven five right. now we have a 45 degree on the bottom all right we're going to grab this whole uh, unit and copy it I'm going to edit copy edit paste and uh, what did I do here oh I moved my I moved it accidentally hang on we're going to do it over again i'll redo that because i went back too far i'm going to start over again and i'm going to uh, copy try it one more time hit it paste i don't know why it's doing what it's doing there it's shifting it down the bottom there for some reason all right well we'll have to change we'll have to move it all right we know what the uh, y is going to be one right a position wise oh no excuse me 0.5 and oh our x is going to be over a little bit so let's just start with point with three. Oh, i see what it, what happened oh i didn't change y hang on a second 0.5 dead okay that's better all right now uh we also have to flip him 180 degrees so he's facing the other way 
Right? And we know we want this guy with the out right hand edge now over in this area here at uh, 4.5. So uh, that would make this inner edge at 3.75. So let me change this to 7.5. There we go. Is that right? No, it's 4. I miscounted. 4 would give me a oh, 4.25. Excuse me. No, 3.75 is correct. Yeah. Let me escape. So these should be uh, four inches apart. So this is at 0.5. This should end up being at 4.5. Okay, right. So this is 4.25. It can get confusing. There we go. Now we got it. All right. <clears throat> now we're going to build another one on the bottom. And, you know, uh, I find it just easier to make a new one. In this case, we're going to make a new uh, rectangle down the bottom. And this rectangle, uh, we know the position is going to be 0.5 and 0.5. And the height or the width is going to be 4 inches because that's the width of our board. And we know the height of it is going to be 0.25. All right, and there he is down there. Now, same thing, we have to... Uh, clean up our corners so let's make this go over to our cut screen uh bring him down uh well we have to change all that we can do that later we're going to change from clear out of pocket to cut on the shape path now we're going to edit the points and the point we're going to enter is this point here and we're going to move that to the left uh point Two five or a quarter of an inch. So we're going to change this 4.5, 4.25. Then we're going to go over and edit points again, and click on this guy in this corner. There he is. Oh, wrong one. Got to go back. Now I got him. He turned blue. That's how you know. All right. And now uh, we know X is. Uh, 0.5 we need to move it to the right a quarter of an inch so we'll make it 0.75 all right now we have oh, I did, didn't do that right there we are okay now we have uh, the bottom part and we just copy that I'll use control C this time and control V which are the windows copy and we're gonna again move this uh, 180 degrees All right, we we'll flips it over, and we'll go put it at the top of the uh, the uh, the size is right, but we're going to put it at the top of the screen. So X is going to be 0.5. That hasn't changed, but Y is going to be way up at the top. And we had um, the top of the line was 19 and an eighth, so this would be 18 and five eighths. 18.625 and if we go back and home the screen oh I didn't get it right hang on what did I get oh there's a I forgot about the, that we're up off the bottom here so I need to get it um, actually at this point here so I'm gonna bring it up uh, it looks like another half an inch um, so that would be yes another half inch so that'd be 19 point one two five no let's see where it gets me not a little more 19.25 that get me there no 19 and three eighths I'll get this right yet there we go now we have it all squared away i know it's a little confusing but you just have to work around it a little bit sometimes it helps to write things down uh, which i didn't do all right now we have a nice picture frame to go around our uh, cribbage board but there's nothing in the middle and uh, kind of like to see something in there so um let's put a go over to our let's let's highlight one of these pieces here and we'll go over to our apps again and now we're going to look at texture We've done this in a previous uh, lesson, but uh, we're going to go, and the texture I'd like to use was the uh, 
morphing diamonds. I think that looked nice. And uh, the scale, that's fine. And change any of these numbers. Rotate, padding, no. The depth, though, um, <clears throat> I'm only going to make it uh, 30 thousandths of an inch. That's 0.03. Right. And I'm going to import it. All right, and if you look, um, it's kind of hard to turn light gray, but we've actually created a texture around the left side here. So we'll just repeat that for the uh, other uh, segments of this picture frame. And I'm going to import, go to the apps, go to texture. Again, go to uh, Morphing Diamonds. I'm going to change my depth to 0.03. And I'm going to import. Now we got two of them done. Go to the third one. Final ones on top here. All right, now we've got a nice uh, outline. And it's a little hard to see, but I, um, I assure you it'll come out right when we do it uh, on the uh, machine itself. Uh, we, I did a practice run before, and it came out pretty good. Uh, all right. Now, um, the other thing I'd like to do is put something in the middle. Remember, we had that break in the middle of the uh, the uh, whole pattern here. And what I'm going to put in there is I, I think I'll put a... Uh, uh, a rectangle in there and uh, see what I can do it so now I'm going to take this and move it out of the way just for momentarily <clears throat> what I found is you just take and, and move it out some number I'm gonna move it out five inches and get it out of my way so I can look at these little spots here all right so this spot this uh, last dot, uh, hole that we're going to drill is um, as a Y of 9.937, see it here? So we need to something, I'm gonna start at probably 10 inches. And I know um, this should be about uh, a half an inch high. So if it's just less than half inch, we'll see what we get. All right. So I'm gonna put a rectangle in here uh, and just practice, uh, just a practice rectangle. I'm not gonna leave it here, but we're gonna make it, uh, the width is gonna be uh, three inches. The height is going to be um, 0.4 inches, we'll say. Let me just give it a number and we'll see how it works. And then the position is going to be um, X is fine. Y, we said, was going to be uh, about 10. We'll start there. All right. And then let's put this with an outline. We'll outline uh, on the, uh, excuse me, I'm not going to clear the pocket, I'm cut on the shape. All right. And we'll see how that looks in there. It looks like it has to go up a little bit, doesn't it? So let's take it and move it up. Um, we had set it at 10 before. Let's try 10 and an eighth. And we'll click off and take a look at it. And it has to go up a little more yet. Let's put 10 and a quarter. Let's try it. That looks a little better. All right, that's not too bad there. Um, that would work all right. And our, our uh, width, uh, width of our guy is about right. But I would like to round the corners a little bit. So I'm gonna put a slight radius on the corners, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch, we'll see how that works. Now we'll take a look at it again. That doesn't look too bad. Um, 
seems to be fit fit pretty well maybe a little high looking at it um, so I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit maybe 10.2 inches and we'll see how that looks yeah that looks a little better that fits nicely between the dots there and we can uh, make this bigger to see how that looks uh, you can see that's that's a pretty good spacing in there so that's going to contain uh, I'm going to put some text in there at some point but for now I want to uh, just re remember what these are I'm going to copy this so we're going to do edit copy and I'm going to bring up my other uh, point and I'm going to paste it in here edit paste all right and notice <clears throat> it comes into the same position on my other workpiece so I really can do it on one um, and I wanted to do it here so I could I could get my spacing correct but now that I've moved it over I don't need this anymore so I'm going to delete this one all right. uh, I'm also going to click on this one and move it back where it belongs remember I moved it over five inches I'm just going to move it back all right now I've returned this one to normal all right. this is where we left it and I go down to my uh, border one we had now have this here well uh, let's look at what we want to do next I'm going to bring this up and uh, what I'm going to do remember this is a cut on uh, the cut was done on the shape path uh, but it's kind of deep I don't really want it that deep I'm going to make it uh, about what the depth of my uh, my uh, texture over here a 0.03 inches all right now you have a, a depth of about the same as this but inside there I'm going to put some text this is kind of nice I'll put some fancy test text in here this time uh, let's see what we have down here this one is really interesting uh, you can see there's some down here that we can use that are not on the pro list we can't click on the pro ones it won't let us do that but we can like this one here is kind of nice um, and again, I'm going to make this uh, 0.03 in depth. You can see the text coming over here. Let me go down and pick up that text. There he is down there. And we're going to call this Jacob. Uh, oh, looks like I typed the, the J twice, doesn't it? Okay, let me back up. All right, now we got Jacob in there. All right. So let me click outside him so he uh, becomes a box. And we're going to make him somewhat, quite a bit smaller, as you can guess. I didn't want to do that. Control Z, I don't want to click on that one. I took the B off and I didn't want to do that. I'm going to redo uh, edit text. So I'll put the B back in. All right. Click on this box again. I'm going to grab this corner. Maybe it'll be easier up here. There we go. I can get it. And I'm going to start making them look quite a bit smaller. And I got to grab and put them out in the middle where I can't make too many mistakes. And I'm going to make them smaller in this direction too. And then we're going to move them towards the middle up top here. And we're going to put him inside this other box up here. See how he fits. Uh, still a little too big. Uh, we have more. We can make them wider and narrower and see if we can fit them right in the middle there how's that look uh, I think we can move them a little bit to the right to get them centered so I'll move it over just a little bit oh. let me uh, bring it up even bigger yet so I can do this a little easier all right so now we have Jacob in there so what do we have um, let me go and click on that all right so now we have two work pieces the first one here is good for drawing holes and for doing an outline and we're going to do that with an eighth inch bit but this one we can't do in an eighth inch bit 
because if we did, there wouldn't be any detail at all in there, would there? Uh, so this one, we're going to use a V-bit. Now, once I click on the V-bit, you'll notice it goes from uh, up here. It says Pro Carve now. Let me go back to 8th, and you'll see what I mean. Now it says you can carve. So what it's telling us is that you can, yes, you can put that bit in there, but you can only cut it if you have uh, the Pro Carve, uh, you know, the professional version of easel. So that's not that's really not a problem for us in that we do have the professional version of easel down at the shop, and we can easily move it from your space, uh, your your uh, login, over to the one at the shop. So while you can't cut it from your login, we can cut it from the login at the shop. So this is ready to go at this point. And how I would approach this uh, is to cut this first, to cut my uh, uh, V-bit uh, work first. That's the, the initials and the texture around it. And then do the cutout. Uh, obviously, we don't want to do cutout too early because uh, uh, our wood becomes unstable as we start to cut it out. So basically, we're done. We would cut this one first, the V-carve, and I'll do a simulate so you can see what that looks like. There we go. It's going to take a minute to simulate. There's quite a bit of cutting going on there with all the texture. Uh, let's see how long it's going to take. I'm interested to see that. And we have the initials to do and all the texture. And now he's doing the tool pass. Yeah, this is going to be a longer cut for sure. It takes this long to simulate the tool path. So at this, this point, we'd be setting up our machine and we put the V-bit in and uh, establish the, um, our starting point, which is down in the lower left corner. And you can see this is a tool pad and he's going to take over an hour to run this because there's so much cutting involved. If we click over here, let's do a little evaluation. Um, we can see that we have the waste board, the material, the tool pads. Uh, we can click the tool pads off. Um, you can see that uh, we have, uh, uh, see our cutting comes up nice and highlighted there. All right, so it's going to take about an hour and nine minutes to cut it all. All right, so let's go over and see how much, uh, once we do that, we're going to uh, bring it back, or the, our easel uh, will bring it back to x y equals zero and we'll stop over here what we do is raise the z-axis up change the bit and then we'll proceed with this cut let's simulate this cut and see how long it's going to take this one shouldn't take quite as long i don't think uh, but it'd be interesting i want to show you something you notice no holes come up well why is that well remember on a previous one we talked about the holes being an eighth of an inch or being at least 10 percent bigger than the bit well that's the problem. Our uh, holes are an eighth inch thick and our bit is eighth inch and the machine cannot bore them. It can't bore them, but it can drill a hole that way. So let's move this out of the way again. All right, I'm gonna move it to 5.5. Oh, hang on, I missed. There we go. And I'm going to highlight all of these. And I'm going back over to my apps again. There's some good apps in here. And I'm going to go all the way down the bottom this time. And instead of drilling, boring, uh, boring the holes, we're going to drill them. So we're going to convert circles to drill holes. I'm going to click on that. And we're going to replace all these existing holes with uh, drill holes. As I'll click in that box, I'm going to import. Now look at what we have. You can see that uh, when we drill holes, uh, it looks vastly different, doesn't it? Uh, the visual representation of it. All right, so let's put this guy back where he belongs, and we'll do this again. Um, delete, and now we're going to move him back to 0.5. Oh, I missed. Someday I'll remember to do this right. This is 5.5. .5. 
and y should be 0.5 we must have moved it Point 0.5 and point 0.5. There we go. Now we got it back. All right. So now we have our cut line going back around it again. But now we're actually drilling holes. You can see them over here on the right. And that's because we're going to use our eighth inch bit. And we're going to go straight down into the material. We're not going to do a boring. We're just going to do a drilling operation. All right. So let's take a look what we have there. And um, let's do a simulate. And you can see this is going to take 31 minutes to run this. I assure you, if we were boring those holes out with, uh, say, a 16th inch bit, it would take about twice as long. So drilling is an, uh, the preferred operation when you know the size of the hole. And you can do it with a, a small bit. All right, so let's look at what we have here. And I'm going to turn the tool pass off for a minute. So you see it. And I'm going to see if there are any uncut areas, any red marks in there. I don't see any, so it looks like we're in good shape. All right. So there's no uncut areas. You can see our tool pass in there. So now finally, we're ready to go. And it's going to take 31 minutes. And the other one is going to take us an hour and nine minutes. So it looks like an hour and 40 minutes for the whole project. That's it. We're done. Um, let's get over to the machine when we can and, and run this. Uh, obviously, it's going to take a couple hours between the setup and the run. So we have to make sure uh, we do have a, a, a time spot reserved to do this. All right. Good luck with the project.